Hey YouTube! So, interesting development. You may notice that the entire can crusher is disassembled. We uh, did a, about a half an hour worth of random crush testing earlier in the week, which uh, is the last video you'll have seen, and we decided we need more. We're not satisfied. We need more. We were considering doing hydraulic, but we know that's just too darn slow. So, why well, have one piston when you can have four? I don't have all four with me, but we're just going to reuse these large holes on the bottom and appropriately um, bore and drill so we can mount four cylinders on the top of this thing. It'll be a little slower, but it'll still be very fast compared to uh, hydraulics. And the math works out that at 120 PSI, you get 2,400 pounds of crushing force. Fortunately, the threaded rod and the steel plate should be more than enough to handle it, so a few modifications later and uh, this thing should be really destroying steel soup cans and pretty much anything else we throw at it. Alright, so one of the first things I'm going to have to do is figure out where all my new holes are going to be going. I'm going to reuse these holes, no questions asked, um, but I need to figure out where all the bolt holes are going. Right, these cylinders are mounted with M8 socket head cap screws uh, into the top of the tie rods. And I guess the easiest way, instead of trying to figure out exactly where I want all the holes, is to just print out a template. All right, this is straight out of SketchUp on a one-to-one -one scale. And all you gotta do is just line it up. And you know what, in this case, eyeball is just fine because I'm gonna overbore uh, the cylinder, uh, the main cylinder hole, so that I have a little bit of play, a couple millimeters each way. So, in all reality, I don't need to get it super precise. I've already gone ahead and center punched all four holes for all four of these positions, and now I'm going to start drilling. All right, YouTube, we've made it four times more crushing uh, with four cylinders. I'm holding on the high pressure button. Oh, okay. Let's do this. <laughs> the, the pneumatic logic is a little messed up. <laughs> It's just saturating. Like, look at how much... Oh, wait a second. That's not right. One of these cylinders is leaking through. Well, Sorry. Yeah. No wonder we're having difficulties. Yeah. Okay. okay. So one of these cylinders is faulty. That explains why we're having so much difficulty. But it crushes incredibly flat. So, technical difficulties aside, I wonder if we're like straining it off to the side and that that's that way it's... Oh yeah, it might be. 
Well, let's uh, let's try going crush down with no with no resistance. Just put that in there. Ready? Fingers clear. All right. That's how it should work. <laughs> Look, check it out. <laughs> oh, good lord. You're gonna need something better than cans to crush. We tried a bunch of things. Yeah. We need to we need to take revenge on that soup can. <laughs> Yeah, so when I pressurize the top, it's not leaking through here. Maybe it is still logging. Maybe it's still logging. No, no, no. Air shouldn't come out from the other side. Right? Because, watch this. I lift it up, and air keeps flowing from this side. Oh, wait. That's odd. Maybe, maybe the, um, maybe the leak. Solved itself? Nope, there's the leak. So it's it's fully up. You know, it could just be the volume and that thing is causing it to bleed so slowly. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Alright. Let's crush something else. Where's that soup can? I want revenge. <laughs> I think the soup can's thrown out. Yeah, we take our second every day. Pretty much. Maybe there's another one. We couldn't find that old soup can, but here's a tuna can for scale. <laughs> All right, I want this one. Yeah, go for it. Wait. Look at how flat that can is, then. Oh, yeah, it's gorgeous. Uh, I want to take a photo. All right, hang on. Okay, now hold that. Yep. It's this one. Okay. I think it was two of them, because that one sounded like it let it... No. It seemed like the air volume went down a little bit. Actually, no, it just had another way to let the air out. It's just that one. There's a flaw with that cylinder. Yeah. Something's wrong with it. We may have to return it. Just gonna work here. Okay. Now do it. Let go. Go down. Now this is only five on three cylinders. Then I'll go back up. Well, it's gonna be bleeding air until it hits the top anyway. Yeah. But it's bleeding naturally, it's not sending you a ton of it. Yeah, see? Now it's fixed. So that, that cylinder's dead. There's some troubleshooting for you. Let's crush something yeah. else. Cool. I'm going to leave. <laughs> let's, um, That's amazing. let's crush your hat. No! <laughs> quite, I think quite, it was invaluable and expensive. We, 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 we got a tablet right here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to crush again. Can, can I get a video? Sure. Yes. Yes. Going, 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 going. There we go. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Hang on. So, so this can get closed up again. Where's that yep. screw ran off to? I don't know. Very nice. Oh, right here. Okay, I gotta go back to see how Miles doing. No problem. Not the right one. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> okay. So the cabinet screws on. I was just thinking that. You need to bring in a hydraulic cylinder from work so we can measure the force. 